All right, so we are going to now talk about empathetic appeals and perspective taking and how to use them in signs, right? Again, we're trying to capture people's, uh, we're trying to capture their attention and we're trying to sustain their attention. And empathetic appeal, appeals are really good at sustaining people's attention. Um, so what we're going to learn about are why empathetic, empathetic appeals are effective and how to achieve them in some signage with a few examples. So empathetic empathetic appeals and perspective taking. So we, before we kind of start talking about science in particular, uh, we gotta know that a lot of environmental behaviors are really motivated by an altruism. And some of the signs that we, uh, or the signs and the behaviors that we're trying to promote with those signs, um, we're often trying to promote positive environmental behaviors in outdoor recreation settings, right? So we're trying to prevent people from littering, we're trying to have people stay on trail, we're trying to have folks really follow rules, regulations, and norms, right? And knowing that these environmental behaviors are often motivated by altruism, um, that's something very important to know when we're thinking about science. Um, <clears throat> and also, there's a lot of good research that suggests that appeals um, in signage that really consider animal welfare could be a super effective approach to encourage proper behavior. So a long, long time ago, um, Shelton and Rogers found that people who um, responded to anti-whaling messages, the ones who were shown um, images of whales suffering, really responded a lot more strongly to images and signage um, than uh, folks who did not see the whale suffering, right? So, you know, this appeal to animal welfare through this really vivid imagery is something that um, is, is, is pretty strong. It creates empathy. Um, in some ways, we can kind of create perspective taking when we have images, when we show things about animal welfare, right? So empathetic appeals and perspective taking are really effective in a lot of ways. Um, in a more outdoor recreation setting, um, Sam Hamm um, and Whaler uh, reported that a personal norm, so in other words, like a moral obligation um, sign was better than others to persuade uh, park visitors to stay on trails, right? So if you appeal to these moral obligations, which are often kind of empathetic appeals, and if you use perspective taking within that, it's going to be a little bit more effective. Um, similar, Ham, same researcher, had other findings in the study where they used um, personal norm-based messages, and it really increased the uh, level or the amount of litter that was picked up by National Park Trail users, right? So these kinds of empathetic appeals, and we're going to see what these actually look like in a second, and when you try to um, have the reader or the viewer take the perspective of the thing that we're trying to maybe protect um, through the signage, um, that can be kind of a, an effective approach when we're thinking about signage designs. Um, <clears throat> so why does empathy work? So let's just talk really briefly about why it works. Um, in a really, really simple way, and you know, this isn't a psych class, so we're not going to go over this um, in great detail, uh, but empathy can really, what it does, is if, if, em em if empathy is triggered um, in the brain, in the body, um, it can really increase arousal, which is like the sense organs kind of become stimulated, and when those sense organs become stimulated, um, that actually increases the uh, attention and processing that our brains are doing. So when we're in that kind of stimulated state, uh, we're paying closer attention to things. So if we can, any, if we can kind of <clears throat> try to have people have this kind of um, empathetic response through signage, then theoretically, um, that's going to increase the amount of attention they're paying to the message in the sign, to the sign itself. So you know that's really uh, over like a cursory overview, but that's why empathy perspective uh, taking works in signs. Um, so here's just a few examples, right? So here's one that particularly is kind of the one on the left, if not you, who is the right thing to do. Um, you know, what this does is right here that says this small action not only sets a great example for other visitors, it maintains the natural beauty of Russell Falls. I think in some ways by mentioning other visitors, we're trying to kind of think about the perspective of other visitors when they are kind of engaging with the same environment that you are when you're reading the sign. Um, and <clears throat> by you picking it up, it's going to make the other people's, other visitors' uh, experience better, right? So that's kind of a perspective-taking sign. Um, another one here, this is similar, but it's about birds. 
Um, it says, your choice matters, birds, tame or wild. And it says, we know that some visitors have enjoyed feeding the birds here, but remember that you're in a national park and these birds are not your pets. Your feeding these birds discourages them from finding their own food and will make them depend on humans, not just at this place, but everywhere they go. So think about it, national parks are among the last places on earth where we still allow wildlife to exist naturally, right? And then at the end it says, don't make these birds depend on you. Please keep all of your food, including bird seed, to yourself. So these are both from Australia. Um, and you know what these attempt to do, again, um, with the bird one, it's, it's kind of trying to, um, you know, put yourself in the bird's perspective, right? Um, you don't want to discourage them from finding their own food, um, trying to create some empathy for the birds, some perspective taking, uh, that kind of stuff. So, you know, these were included in, um, some research by Ham and some other folks, and they were found to be, uh, pretty effective. Um, so in this study that we're going to talk about this week, this comparative evaluation of attention capture and holding power of novel signs aimed at park visitors, which y'all are reading, I talked about in the first lecture, this is what their message um, about empathy perspective taking looked like, right? So what they did, and I'll talk about it kind of more in depth at, in the very last lecture than the telegraphic titles, um, but they had five different signs. One was about um, empathy and perspective taking. The other was a story. One used tried to use humor. One had a telegraphic title, and one was just the message that um, the parks or that the park actually already used to kind of act as a control. Um, so in this research, um, the authors or the researchers, this is their empathetic message. It says, "Attention, humans. This is our home, and we've been here for a long time, living off natural food." or we're really tempted by your human food. Did you know we can smell anything with odor, including canned foods, drinks, toiletries, and trash? Why don't you store these things properly? We might break into your car, or when you don't store these things properly, we might break into your car, a backpack, or an ice chest that's left out. Sometimes we get hurt or killed just for liking your food. Please don't let, don't help a good bear go bad. Please do both of us a favor and store your food and scented items the right way. And it's on the bears, right? So this is um, the, 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 the primary point of this sign. The kind of theoretical thing that they use is empathy. Um, it's especially prevalent here when it says when you don't store these things properly, we might break into your car, backpack, or ice chest um, that's left out. And sometimes we get hurt or killed just for liking your food. So the big point here is sometimes we get hurt or killed for liking your food. So don't help a good bear go bad. Um, so this is kind of the empathetic appeal sign that we'll talk um, about in terms of what worked best in this research study in the very last lecture. So, uh, you know, what did we learn in this short lecture? Really kind of the basics of empathetic of, of appeals, um, kind of why empathy perspective taking works. Um, we talked about some examples and we introduced you all to um, the sign, one of the, the signs from the Hall et al. study um, that we'll talk about in the very last lecture on telegraphic titles. Thanks.